And now we know that cells still have the DNA intact. We just need to teach them how to read that code again. And if we can do that, aging may be much more reversible than we ever thought. Imagine turning back the clock and living life to the fullest with the vitality and energy of the younger you. It's a dream that seemed like science fiction until recently. Groundbreaking research by Dr. David Sinclair and other scientists have made a massive leap to reverse aging. In this video, we'll go over Dr. Sinclair's lab's recent age reversal study in a layman and entertaining way. I'll tell you why their findings have created buzz and how your health can benefit from these findings now. So buckle up and let's begin. There are three main take home messages in this study. The first is that aging is driven by damage to our DNA. Our cells get bombarded daily by internal and external factors that cause DNA damage. Luckily, we have a robust DNA repair system that prevents our DNA from looking like frayed rope or Swiss cheese. Scientists have long known that DNA damage is linked to aging, but the prevailing thought was that DNA damage causes mutations that accumulate with aging. Sinclair and his team added a twist to this theory. They're betting on one specific type of DNA damage, double-stranded DNA breaks, as a reason for aging. We'll talk more about the twist later in the video. Sinclair's team genetically modified mice to have more double-stranded DNA breaks, dubbing them ICE mice after drinking the drug tamoxifen. After 10 months of treatment, they started to see that the ice mice aged prematurely compared to the control mice. They found that ice mice had more gray hair, muscle weakness, memory loss, decreased bone density, and heart disease. As one of the co-authors, Jae Hyun Yang, put it, we found a lot of aging phenotypes. Next, the team wanted to confirm premature aging in these mice using epigenetic clocks. They found that ice mice aged 50% faster than controls. Essentially, in humans, this would translate to a roughly 40-year-old looking like a 7-year-old based on chronological age. Sort of like Jared Leto transforming into Paolo Gucci in the movie House of Gucci. Sinclair's team also ruled out accumulation of genetic mutations in ice mice as the cause of their premature aging, throwing another wrench into the mutation theory of aging. Now let's move on and take a look at the second take home message in the study. Sinclair's team thinks that double stranded DNA breaks result in a loss of epigenetic information. If you're thinking, epi what? Let me explain. Now pay attention because this will be important for later. The epigenome refers to the chemical compounds, also known as epigenetic marks, in a cell that alter the genome without changing the underlying DNA sequence. These marks instruct the genome what to make, when to make it, and where to make it. As Sinclair puts it, Sinclair often uses the computer analogy that your genome is the hardware while the epigenome is the software. Different cells have different epigenetic marks. This is how your body has many different types of cells like liver, nerve, skin, which each have different purposes yet all of them share a nearly identical genome. What's neat is that the epigenetic marks change with aging and in response to your lifestyle, your thoughts, in your environment, leading to physical changes or disease risk. More on this later. In the study, when they looked at various epigenetic marks, Sinclair's team found that repair of the double-stranded DNA breaks caused disruption of the epigenome, a process they termed relocalization of chromatin modifiers. Specifically, they observed certain epigenetic marks, termed histones, to become displaced from their typical locations in the genome, resulting in a smoother epigenetic landscape. This coincided with an accelerated epigenetic clock and expression, meaning turning on or off, certain genes. They found that all these changes led to cells losing their identity and normal function. For instance, aged liver cells with blurred identity may not be able to store or process glucose as well, leading to abnormal blood sugar levels. So to close the loop on the twist, Sinclair's team thinks that we age not because our DNA accumulates mutations as we get older, but because our epigenome is disrupted by mutations, especially double-stranded DNA breaks. He calls it the information theory of aging. Here's the third take-home message from Sinclair's study. Epigenetic reprogramming reverses epigenetic aging. They decided to go big to end the study. They wanted to see if they could reset the epigenetic landscape in ice mice. To do this, they treated ice mice with a subset of Yamanaka factors, which are genes that reprogram adult cells into a younger stem cell-like state. 
If you're interested in hearing more about Yamanaka factors in future videos, let us know with a comment below. After five weeks of treatment, Sinclair's team found that cells showed signs of rejuvenation, including biological age reversal up to 57% based on four different epigenetic clocks. These findings, together with Sinclair's team's 2020 study, in which they restored vision in mice with Yamanaka factors, are groundbreaking. Here's Sinclair explaining why. In other words, cells have stored data that can reset the epigenetic landscape. It seems that epigenetic reprogramming can access this data to bring cells back to a more youthful state. This makes sense since we've known for many years that the epigenome is reset every time a new baby is conceived. So in general, I do think that this data in this study supports Sinclair's information theory of aging. But as exciting as these findings are, they raise more questions than they answer. One big question is, are double-stranded DNA breaks the main cause of aging? Or are there other molecular or cellular processes that can cause aging? It's very likely that there indeed are other factors that can contribute to aging, such as accumulation of mutations. It may very well be that the disruption of the genome, epigenome, and possibly other mechanisms work in parallel to drive aging. A second question is whether treatment with Yamanaka factors causes cancer. Previous studies have shown that turning the clock back too much can result in cancers such as teratomas. As a result, scientists are trying to figure out ideal doses and timing of treatment with Yamanaka factors. A third major question is does epigenetic reprogramming actually make the mice younger, not just the cells? In other words, does it extend the lifespan and health span, also known as the number of disease-free years? These are the billion dollar questions that weren't answered in this study. However, there are clues in addition to Sinclair's previous vision restoration study that epigenetic reprogramming may actually be able to rejuvenate tissues and animals. Take for instance a 2016 study that showed treatment with Yamanaka factors and prolonged the lifespan in a mouse model of premature aging. Additionally, a recent study showed treatment with Yamanaka factors in old mice extended lifespan by 109% and improved their health span. Of note, this study has not yet been accepted by a peer-reviewed journal, meaning that it hasn't been thoroughly vetted. Sinclair also said that his team is working on another study to address these questions. If these findings hold true, this would have massive ramifications for reversing aging. At this point, I know what you're probably thinking. This is awesome news if you're a mouse. Although this was an animal study, this study, with our emerging understanding of the epigenome's role in aging, gives us some takeaways that can likely apply to humans. The first is that we should protect our DNA to prevent premature aging. DNA damage, especially double-stranded DNA breaks, can be caused by ionizing radiation and certain chemicals. As a result, if you want to live longer, it's likely a good idea to minimize exposure to x-rays and sunlight when the UV index is high. The epigenome is modifiable, meaning that epigenetic marks can be added or removed. Epigenetic clocks have shown that epigenetic marks, methylation for example, can be altered in humans. This means that proper exercise, nutrition, sleep, and mindset can likely slow your epigenetic and biological aging. One study in humans showed that just eight weeks of nutrition and lifestyle modifications improved epigenetic age by roughly three years. Epigenetic reprogramming is our current best chance at extending average lifespan to over 100 years, even though lots of more research needs to be done. Scientists, including David Sinclair, are working on testing and fine-tuning epigenetic reprogramming in humans, with one of the first stops being to conquer eye diseases.